Hey Google, when was the Nexus 5 released? Nexus 5s first released on the 31st of October 2013. So as you guys just heard, the Nexus 5 is officially 5 years old today as of October 31st, 2018. And I mean, phones have come a really long way since this thing here, but this phone, the Nexus 5, was already kind of ahead of its time, even the day it launched. I mean, before that, there were so many leaks about this phone, uh, even almost as much as the Pixel 3, I would say. And it was all so hyped up, and everybody like was anticipating it, even the leaks about that Googler, the Indian guy, uh, who was using it and there was a leaked photo of him using the phone at the Google campus so that photo was also leaked if any of you guys remember uh, so here it is in its box and I mean here's my Nexus 5 right here and if you guys have probably been following me on Google Plus which is about to be dead very soon uh, you guys would probably know this thing in and out about how many ROMs have flashed on it, how many kernel tweaks I've made to it, and how much, well, I've tortured it, you could say. <laughs> but this phone has really stood up well. It's probably one of the most usable five-year phones as of today, alongside the iPhone 5S, I guess. I don't think there's any other phone which is this old, which you can still use uh, in 2018. And, you know, although, of course, the battery life isn't so great on this thing, the camera is pretty bad and the speakers are weak as well but just overall the whole form factor it's just such a good device and it was so lovable at its time and it still probably is so for this five year anniversary you could say i'm just doing a little throwback and uh well i'm just gonna start my nexus 5 and yeah so that's a custom bootloader that's how it has a new G google logo and if you guys remember the legendary multi-rom which I have a lot of ROMs on my phone. Uh, if you can see here, it is. So I've got CyanogenMod 12, which is like one of the first ROMs which I ever flashed on this phone when I got it. And I've been using it. It's still got the same data as it did uh, when I got this phone in, the, in March of 2015. So it's still backed up and everything. And here's Firefox OS, which is kind of a bad take at some operating system by Firefox. It never really withstood time, so it was kind of discontinued. Here's the original stock KitKat 4.4, which is what I'm going to be booting into today and just making this video extremely nostalgic. Um, here's Marshmallow, which is the last version that this phone ever received. So that's completely stock as well. Here's MIUI 6, because why not? Uh, Here's Paranoid Android 4.6, which is also one of the first few ROMs which I flashed. Sailfish OS, which is again another Linux-based uh, operating system which was able, like, could be run on this phone. So here's Sailfish OS, and I even used to have Ubuntu Touch, which unfortunately got wiped away, and I was never able to install it again, so rest in peace. And of course, if you guys have, are familiar with multi-ROM, it also supports booting ROMs from the pen drive or like an OTG. So if I just insert my little pen drive in here, you can see if I click on the external tab here. Sorry for the focus, guys, it's kind of difficult. Yep, yeah, you can see all the other ROMs which I have on this OTG pen drive. That's Firefox OS again. This is Sanjin Mod 11S, which is what the OnePlus One launched with many, many years ago. When the original firmware before OnePlus separated itself from CyanogenMod and of course CyanogenMod is now dead. It's continued with Lineage OS and a lot of things have changed since then. Here's the Foria OS, I, I don't know what that is. Flyme, I don't remember either. Here's the first Lollipop developer preview at the very hard, like very start of material design. Uh, here's Eva OS, which is some complete crap. Here's MIUI 7 and HTC Sense 6 because why not I mean the amount of development uh, and love from XDA that this phone received was insane and it probably has more ROMs more tweaks more help uh, if you're flashing and into the rooting business than any other phone to date so pretty sure the Nexus 5 is 
the ultimate phone when it comes to flashing ROMs. So today I'm going to boot into KitKat just for the extreme nostalgic uh, times of this phone. It's gonna... Yep. You'll see that KitKat boot animation in just a second. Oh yes. You guys probably remember this from the good old KitKat days. And yeah, there you have the lock screen, the little KitKat lock screen with that original Nexus 5 wallpaper. And let me just focus this. Nope. And yeah, here's well, what the Nexus 5 was, or rather, what Android at its best was five years ago. So here you've got all the original Google apps without material design. This was way before material design, rather, just a year before material design. I mean, it's been quite a while. One of the new features of KitKat was, I think, this white downloads app. I mean, it's kind of funny to think of that as a feature, but it was because I'm not signed in here. But as you can see, here was the original Google Dialer app, um, Google Plus, Google Keep, Hangouts. Many of these things might have been depreciated or probably even updated so much that you won't be familiar with them anymore. So here's the good old Google Photos or shouldn't it be called Google Plus Photos? I'm not sure. Quick Office and yep. And you can remember this little animation which was pretty sick. And for some reason it actually catches the hot word faster than my Google Home Mini right over there. So if I say, okay Google, if you realize that the Nexus 5 actually got it just a second before my Google Home Mini, so and it's also recognizing everything, which is pretty cool. Sorry, I don't know how to help with that yet. Anyways, um, the good old super nostalgic notification tray of KitKat and the quick toggles, you little thingy like that. And if I head into settings, you can see the good old settings app when it was actually dark, when Google actually supported dark themes. Now they're all in for white. And if you realize this has actually such fewer options as compared to now, I mean, you hardly actually get anything over here. You know, if you kind of dig in and try to tweak your phone. So it was really bare bones stock Android. Now Android itself, the stock Android has evolved so much that uh, many of the custom ROM features are now kind of into stock Android so you kind of don't really need to flash ROMs anymore and many people have moved away from this whole business but back in the time of this phone it was extremely extremely popular and the love that this thing got from XD developers just proves that so if I head into about phone you can just a second you can see here that the model number is Nexus 5 of course Android version is 4.4.3 and whoops that is kitkat if you guys remember this little yeah android kitkat easter egg <coughs> so this is something many of the og people might remember you know that little animation right there as well and just so much about this phone is just bringing back so many memories uh the folder and of course let's see the wallpapers as well this is the good old google now launcher back when google now was still a thing now it's all google feed google assistant things have changed so much if you guys i like this wallpaper there's a couple of these as well and of course the original nexus 5 wallpaper which was these little pink mountains i mean i still love this wallpaper i still use it sometimes on my pixel so we have this old KitKat multitasking menu. Absolutely no sign of material design. It seems so dated, but all, at the same time, it still seems so good. I mean, just because it's old doesn't mean it's bad. It's still such a nice, fast, smooth experience. I mean, it's so quick. Of course, like I hardly have, I have no apps installed. It's completely brand new sort of, but everything about it is just so snappy and quick and I can kind of remember why this phone was so great at its time. So anyways, that's your five year later look at the Google Nexus 5 
one of the most loved Android phones till date. And thanks for watching.